Good morning, welcome to your 10 a.m. daily weather briefing. We have some very nice conditions out there this morning. Temperatures rising into the upper 70s already as of 10 a.m. this morning. Going to see mostly sunny skies out there today with lower humidity values, so a very nice start to July. Looking at our upper level winds across the Midland region, and here's our sounding from our Wallops location looking at freezing level at 14,400 feet this morning. Winds out of the northeasterly component at low levels at 14 knots quickly becoming northerly to northwesterly as we move up in the column. Seeing a peak wind this morning out of the northwest, 25,000 feet at 53 knots. Looking at our surface analysis this morning, we have an area of high pressure. It's currently over the mid-Atlantic, including the northeast states. It's providing us with this nicer conditions across the region. I see this area of high pressure move off the coast for the uh, late afternoon into the evening hours today and we'll see a return flow for tomorrow and that will bring in the heat and the humidity for the rest of the week with uh, more uncomfortable uh, conditions from Wednesday through the weekend. Looking at our uh, satellite across the region this morning you can see we have some upper level cirrus cloudiness across the region that's going to continue to move through the area. Okay see anywhere from about a broken to scattered deck of cirrus clouds today. Could be seeing a little bit of fair weather cumulus clouds uh, build for the afternoon hours, but overall mostly sunny skies for our day today. Looking at our radar across the region, not really seeing anything in the middle Atlantic region. Some rainfall across the uh, Great Plains, Upper Great Plains, as well as the uh, Great Lake states. Not going to see any precipitation as I mentioned here at Wilbs today. Looking at our uh, GFS model for the next few days, here's today that high pressure moving through and then off the coast. You can see uh, by Tuesday afternoon we have a weak disturbance starting to move uh, north of our region as well as the disturbance trying to move towards our region from the west. However, we should remain dry for our Tuesday. The GFS model does bring in chances of some late day showers and thunderstorms. That will most likely be north of the Wallops region with a line of showers and thunderstorms dying out before they get here on Tuesday night into Wednesday. And then Wednesday we'll see hot and humid conditions across the region, high pressure off the southeast coast in a Bermuda High type location and then we'll have a surface trough across the coastal plain of the eastern portion of the Mid-Atlantic region that's going to be providing us with chances of some pop-up showers and thunderstorms, mainly confined to the Appalachian Mountains on Wednesday. Move into Thursday, going to see a slightly better chance of some showers and thunderstorms along Seabreeze boundaries across the Delmarva Peninsula. Uh, looks like Thursday, those showers and thunderstorms will most likely be north of the Wallops region. And then move into Friday, continuing with the muggy, uncomfortable weather across the region with temperatures in the uh, lower 90s to upper 80s for daytime highs as well as the continued chance of some pop-up showers and thunderstorms during the afternoon. Friday looks like a slightly better chance of showers and thunderstorms as the upper level disturbance moves through the region, as well as the uh, unstable atmosphere we'll have in place. So looking at our risk chart for a day, we'll have a green chart across the board, high temperature of 84 degrees, low tonight around 70 degrees. Our winds will be coming on shore from north northeast to southeast at 712 knots this afternoon, and then Overnight, we'll just see a southwesterly wind at 5 to 10 knots. Our 24-hour terminal forecast will have VFR conditions in the next 24 hours with just that upper-level cirrus cloudiness across the region. Our tides are half to one foot above normal. And looking in Tuesday through Wednesday, Tuesday will be mostly sunny to partly cloudy and hot, a high of 91 degrees. Tuesday night, partly cloudy and muggy, low of 77 degrees. And then Wednesday, we'll see partly cloudy skies, slight chance of a Afternoon pop-up shower, thunderstorm, hot and humid with a high of 94 degrees. Green chart across the board for Tuesday and Wednesday. Looking at the next seven days, we'll have the humidity really ramp up from Wednesday through Sunday. Dew points in the mid-70s likely, and that is uncomfortable uh, for the uh, humidity levels. We'll have a 10% chance of thunderstorms with a pop-up shower along the sea breeze boundary on Wednesday, 25 on Thursday. And then we see a better chance for Friday with a chance of 60% uh, for the scattered thunderstorms. Saturday looks like a 30% chance. And then Sunday, once again, we'll have a better setup for some widespread or uh, better chances of showers and thunderstorms across the region at 60%. Our hottest day of the next seven looks like it'll be Wednesday at 94 degrees, although 
any of these days we have a uh, southwesterly wind that is extended in the afternoon hours so we'll easily see temperatures in the lower to mid 90s but right now Wednesday looks like the best bet at that at 94 degrees all of the days looking like upper 80s to lower 90s for the highs and those overnight lows will only be seen in the will only be seen excuse me in the uh, mid to upper 70s so not very much reprieve from the uh, warmth we'll see for um, the middle portion of this week into the weekend. I hope everybody has a great day today. We'll be back tomorrow morning at 8.15 and at 10 a.m.